knows about the story especially the kids uh, and the youth would know the story of uh, I would like to take this out story of uh, a guy called Joseph right I mean how many uh, youths and kids know about the story of Joseph and what uh, what was the interesting thing that uh, was there in in his story can uh, what was the main thing that that you liked about it can i get some volunteers to raise the hands at least i mean what was the interesting things that uh, um, you liked about the person joseph Yes, Nia. God fearing. That's right. Anybody else? Yes, Ethan. I I saw a hand raised there. Chance. Yes. Huh? Dreamer. <laughs> Excellent. About the youth. Any youth? the back youth all the youth in the back nobody is responding anything i see uh, seems like they are sleeping <laughs> if you don't say then i'll pinpoint you then don't make me do that is yes, jonathan good 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 dreams yes jacob you want to say something albin okay and anybody else how about the adults because it has uh, various changes the story goes from uh, kids face to adult face to um, youth and everything so everybody has something yes Cedric good anybody else hmm? yeah sorry Yes, he was. Yes. All right. So, uh all of them are right uh in their own view because all of them have read the Bible and they have their own view. So, and all of the things all of the things which you have mentioned over here was all right. Uh to me when I was reading this uh uh because i also learned when i was a kid uh, in the in the sunday school and uh, over the years when you you how you will take up this thing again and again from various um, chapters uh, from gen in genesis so for me the 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 core aspect of this it uh, of this uh, story goes is the relationship you know there is a lot of relationship happening uh, with joseph's life uh, the relationship uh, with god the relationship with his father the relationship with his brothers he has 12 brothers the relationship with whom he was working for uh, the king with the four his wife even the relationship with various traders who he he did so to me when we look at the relationship how he had a relationship with uh, the 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 father the god the god of generations abraham isaac jacob and it comes to joseph so he had a relationship that uh, derails from generation to generation then he had a relationship with his own father his, he was the favorable son to rachel and he was born in uh, mesopotamia and where he journeyed to canaan and up to egypt 
so he had a relationship with his parents his father he was a favorable he got a good cloth of robe colorful uh, cloth he had a good relationship with his brothers even though the brothers in fact had a very difficult time with him to adjusting him about that then he had a relationship with whom he was working for that is fatifor and the king and also the traders he was very much uh, i would say a genius in his work he 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 to the task he was doing he was up there at the top of his level uh, then he had a relationship with uh, his wife with uh, i mean fortifor's wife where he was obedient and righteous to god to he he negotiated that that time of period and uh, to me that was one of the key aspects when we when we read this story second he he had a dream like all of us said he had a dream the dream which he cherished from his childhood not a small dream he had a dream which went to various phases like day and night it went shifted various phases that led him to a a, a well and then he went to prison and from there he raised up to the honor which we read in the end so he had a dream which he cherished then he was favorable in the eyes of god in the eyes of his father in the eyes of all the other people which whom he worked with he was favorable uh third he he himself was a forgiving person up front he was very strong he was he he had a lot of um he road blocks he, he got hit from various uh various uh angles and various faces of his life circumstances he was hit very hard but then he was very bold and courageous on the other side and also he was very forgiving forgiving human being uh when we read this uh story of joseph uh uh these are some of the extra things that i figured it out when i was reading this uh this book and uh the story i put especially took this because i want to address this to the youth and also the kids because most of them would be familiar with with the story so um i just want to quickly move from there uh one of the thing that of his dream was that uh uh everybody know that he had uh, uh his father sent him to uh she came to figure out his brothers where he was and then because of his dreams uh his brothers were very jealous um uh, they they could not withstand the dream that everybody would be bowing to him and then he would be the leader of that and when he was going to look after uh, his brothers in sekhem they they plotted a plan and put him in the well well where he was traded up and he ended up in egypt uh fast forward in egypt he had a quiet time of good favor for him and where he was working for fortifer and he was so good in that that uh, he got elevated and he was looking after a certain administrative position and uh, because of his uh, the way he looked after himself because of uh, his work ethics and all uh, he uh, fortifer's wife has an had an evil desire and because of that that uh he had to go to some issues and he ran out of that he maintained the level of righteousness with himself and also the righteousness with god and god honored that but he quickly had to end up in a dungeon uh, in a prison now when you look at that situation he had a vision where he is in the top and everybody is bowing down now he is in a dungeon in those t- days the jails or were not as of today it never had the privilege of uh, tv or something like that it was underground most of them were underground in the dungeon where you don't even see daylight what's happening around and he was there and uh, there also god's favor was with him he could interpret the dreams uh, very well and he did that uh, god opened a way in the way of uh, uh, the cup bearer and also uh one other person uh, a baker but then uh that cup bearer forgot him after two two years or three years 
uh, he uh, the king had a restless vision and he interpreted the vision uh, that dream and he also gave the king the vision how to look after the land uh, after uh, seven years of bountiful and seven years of famine so he gave a vision to the king and the king um, quickly realized that he is a very uh, sound minded and a wisdom person he should not let him go and he uh, elevated him to one of the key positions in the kingdom second to the king in fact and uh, and when you look at look at the, the the egypt at that time it became a formidable kingdom in those uh, uh, period and one of the key reason was joseph was there uh, to look after those things and give good uh, advice to the king the king capitalized on that and he put joseph in a key position and he was managing the things very well properly uh, during those times of famine uh, in canaan uh, jacob's father had no other uh, resources he sent his other sons to israel fast forward the story all his brothers ended up before uh, joseph and uh, he uh, they could not realize uh, all his brothers could not realize joseph uh, who he was and what he was doing joseph realized him and uh, some of the key story makers says that uh, he left uh, before his brothers when he didn't even had any beard <laughs> so that was the reason that when they saw Joseph in front of them after uh, 23 or 27 years they could not realize who this person in front and uh, it was written in the scriptures that he was very rude when uh, uh, Joseph first saw his brothers when he was talking to them he was he never made uh, gave any interpretation that the what he was looking uh, what they were all his brothers were seeing was not his own brother but it's joseph um, and uh, joseph realized that these are the brothers and he plotted a plan where, wherein he asked uh, his brothers to bring back his father also and also his one of his uh, youngest son to him and then he reveals himself that who he is so at the end we can see uh, how he forgives uh, all of his brothers here and uh, somebody can quickly read from genesis 45 verses 5 to 11 5 to 8 uh chapter 45 verse 5 to 8 So he says to his brothers that do not be distressed do not be angry with yourself for selling me here because it was not your plans it was sent by God God at that time uh, uh, enabled his brothers and had favor on him to be a remnant on the land of Egypt and to help them out at this famine situation and because of Joseph plans and the way uh, he bought his family entire 12 clans to from Canaan to Egypt Israel and uh, could withstand uh, the famine time and they were in Egypt settled well and he forgive all his brothers what they have done all of his 12 brothers what they have 11 brothers what they have done to him so we can see how he forgive forgave all his uh, brothers in whatever they have a plotted plan against them whatever tough times they have given to him and so uh, like the same way Christ for our sake has forgiven our sins and he came to earth to pres and given him gave us gave us that remnants in our life to be segregated ourselves 
uh, and to consecrate ourselves to be separated ourselves so that when he comes back we can be with him so in this short uh, uh, message I can see is that especially for the kids I can say is that we should have ourselves conducted in a way that we should be segregated we should have a mind uh, and the heart of forgiveness and we should also be courageous to live up to our dreams because Joseph dreamt um, of uh, of the dream that God gave but he was so he was also courageous to stand and leave his dream for us so that concludes my short message and